Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So, um, I had a lot of errands to run this morning, and um, so I went and got those out of the way, you know, grocery shopping, laundry shopping, all that fun stuff, and I uh, had to run to Dollar Tree to pick up some of the laundry stuff I like, and they had Christmas stuff out. Um, so I'm gonna share the items I picked up at the store uh, to include, um, craft. Great. One of the items already broke. I was afraid of that. Well, I guess I have to go back and get another one of these. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> um, anyway, if you're well, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, the first item I'm going to show you is broken. And I was worried about how the, the cashier was packing. And I actually moved it to another bag and it still got broken. Um... So I guess I'll try to go back and get another one and yeah so they had um Mary and Bright that one actually broke at the register and of course this one says let it snow um I don't know if there's any way that I can save it um I mean as you can see there it's it's a pretty fragile piece so we'll have to see. Maybe, you know, I'll use some of my the clamps down in my husband's workshop and try to give it another life. But uh, anyway, I was going to paint and uh, Mod Podge on it. But anyway, so there's that. In that same bag, these... Um, I was really happy to find these. Now, for Halloween, I was only able to find one of the versions they put out. Um, but they have in this MDF, we have Mary and the white is a reindeer. And then they also had Peace and the A is a Christmas tree. And I just really love these. Again, these are going to be something that I'll paint and, um, Mod Podge on. So... Um, so I was happy to find those and make sure you check them if you go to your store and find them because a couple of the ones I found, they had stapled the twine to the front, which totally defeats the whole purpose of being able to hang it. So, um, so pick those up. Um, I had seen these in, um, Karen's, uh, one of Karen's hauls uh, about a week or so ago, I think. And, um... So I was happy to find those. I am still really sad about this. Any, anyway, uh, let's see. I'll put that there and kind of put the weight down on it. So there are those. And then I was looking for the books. You know how they have the different books? It, it looks like a book. This is the medium. Uh, my store didn't have any of the large out, or if they did, somebody's already, like, you know, swiped them all up. They had a ton of the small, so I was only able to find this one in the medium, and I just think he is adorable. I'm contemplating doing like a little uh, diorama or something in here. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. Um, maybe some kind of shadow box, but um, I, I found him. Then in the small ones... So I guess maybe there's four, I guess there's four sizes. And, um, so I got, I got two of this one, um, Santa's Naughty or Nice list. I just thought that was a really cute size. Um, they had the smaller ones, so there's one that's bigger than this. And then here is the other one I saw. And this is like the teeny tiny one. You can see how big they are. Um, I wish they had the magnets on them. So I'm going to have to figure out a closure. And Pancake's in my lap and now he's... 
I don't know where he's running off to now, but anywho, so I grabbed those. Let's see, I'm gonna do that. And then tuck him in there just to save space. And I don't know what bag it's in. They, like I said, the, the cashier really wasn't a good bagger and it was a guy, but I wasn't gonna fuss. They had these two tens, I think are so adorable. Um, and these were in multiple sizes as well. I think these are the medium. There was a bigger one and a smaller one. And I decided to go with uh, one of each of the mediums. Um, I'm just figure, trying to figure out like different um, packaging for the people in my office so everybody doesn't get the same thing. But uh, just super, super adorable. So I grabbed one of each of those. And those were the only two designs that I saw. Uh, but again, they were in three sizes. I was really hoping um, Karen sh had just posted a video yesterday, I think, that there were these different trinket trays. And so there was like uh, a tomato soup can, a fruit, or like a yogurt, a fruit, a milk, and I think the bread. So I guess there's like five. I was so hoping to find those and... I didn't see them anywhere. Uh, so maybe I'll try a different store and get lucky. Because I loved them all. So I'm hoping that I can find them all. Um, I have a drawer in my craft room that I keep like all the different trays in. And um, because when I'm crafting and I have tons of little pieces, like I'll separate the pieces so I don't lose them. So if you see those, snatch them up. I think they're going to go quick because they are absolutely adorable. Um, if you haven't, I'll try and remember to uh, put an iCard up here in the corner to Karen's video that is sharing uh, those trinket trays because they didn't let her, uh, her and Amy didn't care for all of them, but I thought they were all adorable. So I, I'm hoping I can find them because they, they are super, super cute. Um... Winter's coming up. Everybody, you know, gets that, you know, going in from the cold. Well, we're here in Texas. We're in the 80s and 90s right now. So we haven't even hit fall. But, you know, being inside, your heater's on, the hot, dry air, going outside, you always get that scratchy, icky, you know, you're just miserable. And my store's been getting in these Vicks Vapo Drops in the cherry and the menthol. So I've picked these up. Um, and I pick them up every time I go in because I just think these are a great size to keep in your car um, or to drop in your purse. Um, so, and, and I like Vicks, so I grabbed two of each of those. That's it for that bag. Um, I like to grab these for when we're like just throwing stuff away, not like regular trash. You know, but if we're clearing out our closets or like, pack, you know, when you get, Amazon comes a lot. So I'll throw like all the packaging and stuff like that in these. Um, so I'm not wasting the big expensive bags on them. So I grab a box of those every time I go. Uh, back to the cough drops. They also had the Ricola. So I grabbed two of these because I love Ricola. Um... So I grabbed two of these so I can stick these in my desk at work. I don't have a scratchy throat right now, but you never know when that's going to hit you. And um, we're, you know, we're coming up in Texas. It, it, it's really weird. It can go from like wicked hot one day to super cold the next day to fall the next day. And then back to, I mean, it's back, it, literally Mother Nature can't make up her mind here. And so you're always getting sick because you don't know how to dress or you think you've got it and the weather, you know, it's just, it's wacky. So I'm just trying to get ahead of the game and be prepared. Um, I have never seen this before and I don't know anything about this. I don't know if Brush, Bru Brush Buddies is a brand. This doesn't say... 
it's Greenbrier, so I don't think I don't think it's a Dollar Tree brand, but it's charcoal infused toothpaste. My daughter loves charcoal toothpaste. She uses it all the time. So I thought I'd pick this up and try it. If I like it, I think I'm going to go back and try and grab another one or two of those. Um, so it is Cool Mint. So anyway, I hadn't seen that before in the store. So wanted to see how that worked. I picked up some car fresheners in the apple cinnamon. I think they also had like a pumpkin spice one or something. I can't remember, but I passed on that. But So I got those for the cars. And I was so shocked to actually find these. Um, Karen had just showed them in, in her um, haul video yesterday. And their, the aroma diffusers they are a Greenbrier product and she said this the the throw was like really good and you're supposed to use like essential oils and if this is a Greenbrier product I kind of wish they had sold so it's just a little tabletop deal you set it on a trinket uh, like and it tells you to put it on a trinket tray or a tray um Come on. I know she was having, Amy had to get it off of her, but you take the bottom off. Some There we go. So you take the bottom off right there. And then it comes with two of these little like foam discs, felt discs or whatever. And you stick it in the bottom and then you put a couple of drops. And... <laughs> It made sense why you put on the tray because as they were demonstrating it, apparently some of the drops got on the table. And they did the sandalwood. I passed on that. They're not in this bag. But I picked up the lavender and... No, I passed on the lavender. I got the citrus fruit, I think, and the eucalyptus mint um, to try out. And... I mean, there's nothing solid about them. They are plastic. I have other, like, diffusers, and there's definitely a big difference in the quality, but... I don't know what's going on. Our neighbors have visitors that are being a little ridiculous. Our, our, we live on the end of a cul-de-sac, and it's usually really quiet. Anyway, let me get back to this. Uh, so you put the little foam disc down there, you put your drops on, it takes three AAA batteries, and the second they turned it on, um, Karen noticed, uh, you know, I'm gonna set this aside, because as soon as I find it, we'll test one out. But anyway, I picked up two of them. My store had a huge display, so I had thought about picking up more, um... Because, I mean, honestly, yeah, it might be a good thing to just stick on the back of your toilet. Um, we use, I, I get the little plug-ins from Bath & Body Works normally. That's what we put into our bathrooms, but that doesn't hurt to try. Um, I picked up one of these over-the-door hooks for my daughter so she can hang her hospital scrubs. Um, up so she doesn't have to shove them in the closet and they're just easy. So grabbed her one of those. Oh, here's one of them. And I got batteries, too. So, we're going to try one of these out. We're going to do the batteries first. Come on. I picked up some of the Panasonic. This is the Alkaline, so I don't know how long it's going to last, but hey, we're going to give it a Oh, really? I need a screwdriver. Let's see. <clears throat> do 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 do. I don't have the handle. I have the little deals, but I didn't I didn't have it over here. Come on. 
Okay, I'm gonna pop out and we're gonna pop these in. Oh, it's on. That was quick. So, and this is the one I wanted to try. This is flower citrus. That's, um, I was, I actually opened them up in the store to smell them. Uh, normally I love lavender, but I got to tell you the one they had in the store, it stinks. <laughs> it did not smell good at all. Um, like I said, normally I'm, I'm a big lover of lavender, but it, it did not, it did not smell good. Um, they also had, um, I think, honey and rose hip. And I'm not big into the... You would think if I love roses that I would love that one. And I, no. No, I did not like that one at all. I'm going to do this off to the side. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm concentrating so I don't make a mess. All right, I'm gonna say that's it. This is messy, that's for sure. I guess I'm gonna have to try and find like a little dropper or something. And, come on. There we go. Turn it. It's noisy. It's very noisy. Can you hear that? It does smell good. I guess we'll just leave it up there and let it be noisy while the video's going. That one smells really good. The flower citrus, I like that one. So anyway, for a dollar, it's good. It, it It's loud. I can't tell what it's catching on. But anyway, so there are those. If you see those, I mean, between the batteries, the little diffuser, and the, your $3. I mean, hey. All right. On to the next thing. They had... Both of these uh, fragrance crystals that I like to use. So I picked up two of each to put into my laundry. So I love these things. And they and I mix them together and they smell really, really good. So love those. My husband is horrible at snoring. So I always pick these up and keep these um, on our headboard. Because apparently I snore too. So sometimes, you know... Um, he's got a set, I've got a set, and we're both good to go. Here are the batteries. And then I picked, I found, and I was happy to find these. I know they carry, but I wasn't sure if they carried both sizes. So they have the, the Sunbeam, the Lithiums. This is the 2032, and these are the 2025s. They're very different, um, so you have to check your... When you buy these, if you're looking for these, make sure you're getting the right size for whatever electronic you're getting them for. I have an old vintage calculator that I love, and um, I couldn't remember which one of these it took, and it needed two. So I picked up two of each, and then I have backup. Um, let's get this. Um, I'm always telling you I like to get this. I add this with the um, OxyClean um, deodorizer that I use in our laundry. Um, and even if you don't have that on hand, if you just want to run to the store and get this, um, I like to use it on all, with our bedding just to make sure everything... Because I, as I mentioned before, our sheets get washed every weekend and the comforters and all that stuff, they get washed um, every two weeks. Just, I, I love fresh, clean uh, bedding. So some people think I wash it too much, but hey, that's my preference. They have the mason jar candles back. And the only one I really liked this time around is the cranberry sage. 
And these smell really, really good. And these are, are they? Oh, these are a, a Dollar Tree brand. It's, it's, um, it's uh, the Greenbrier, and these smell so good. They had a bunch of other ones, but I just really didn't care for them. So I only picked up two of those. Here is the eucalyptus one that I picked up to use with the... I'm going to use one per diffuser, so I don't have to, you know... Because you only get two of these discs with each diffuser. I wish they would, you know, have more. Like, you can buy them separate, but hey... I uh, picked up some of these wipes just to keep in my car, um, you know, where I can take with me and wipe stuff down. I mean, they're not disinfectant, but they are, you know, they're wipes, so um, also, you know, sometimes you go to a public bathroom. I, I, I'm really weird about public bathrooms, so uh, if, I, if I don't have a choice and we're shopping, I'll always have this in my purse as just in case, because, yeah... I, I'm so weird about public bathrooms. If I have to, I will, but if I will prefer to wait till we get home. Um, anyway, so there's the other two of the crystals over there. Um, my store that's like right by my house finally got in, put out more of their, their Christmas ornaments. And so I picked up two more of these Christmas trees. Like I said, I'm going to attach them to the boxes and gifts that I take in to my co-workers and if they want they can reuse this on their tree or hang it up or whatever but they also have a star and the star is cute but I like the trees better and if you see these check them though because some of them the pine cones have broken off so granted they're plastic but it makes a big difference if the pine cone is not on them they look very different um, I love these little, uh, to-go packets. Um, the Juicy Red is my favorite, but I thought we'd try these Berry Blues. I only got one of these, and I picked up three of these, and they had all kinds of flavor. They had, like, Orange Crush and Grape Crush and, um, tons of different, uh, packs that you could get. These are the two that we prefer. Then, I am a nut. I adore funnel cake. And so I saw these. So I picked up two boxes. It says it makes six funnel cakes. And it, so I guess it's... Yeah. So each one of these is supposed to make six funnel cakes. So... I'm going to give these a try. Um, it calls for one egg, three quarters cup of milk, one box of the mix, uh, the vegetable, and it says a pinch of flour. Don't know what the pinch of flour is for, but anyway, so I'm going to give these a try because seriously, this girl is a, it's a running joke in our family. Two things in our family that's a running joke with me whenever we go to like fairs. So... I, I mean, I love funnel cake, and when we, almost every single time that we go to like a fair, or a carnival, or a festival, or anything like that, I always try to get a funnel cake. That's the only time I usually have them. But when we lived up in New York, every, without fail, it was like a conspiracy. <laughs> we would go to the funnel cake line, um... And stand in the line and we get right up there and they'd run out every it was without fail they would run out of funnel cake like one or two people before me and I mean it was crazy and so now it's a running joke we take bets if I'm gonna get the funnel cake whether they're gonna have it or not and then the other thing is orange Julius now it's not that big of a deal anymore because we have them here in San Antonio but I grew up um, on Orange Julius when I was a little girl. They're really popular down in Florida. And when I moved away, you, you couldn't find them anywhere. And 
when we moved up to New York, I'm like, oh, let's see, because everywhere we go, I'd look to see if there was one around. And we lived 20 miles from the Canadian border, and there was one um, about an hour away from where we lived in Canada. And we went up there, we went to go see Fort Henry, which is a Canadian fort up there um, on, off the St. Lawrence River. And there's a mall, and we're like, oh, we'll go check out the fort, and then we'll go to the mall. Y'all, let me tell you. The mall on Sundays closes at 6 o'clock. We got there at 6.05. That whole mall was shut. Well, it was shut down. We could still walk in. It was so closed. My kid, it was, my kids laughed so hard. Like, we, we went north of the border to find Orange Joyce and still couldn't get it. Anyway, um, here I am just rambling. Let me get going. Um... The last um, picked this up for uh, the guest bathroom. Um, I love Himalayan sea salt. Love this dial, so picked one of those up. And then my husband makes bakes the best cookies. All right, and. He bakes, especially at Christmas time, he bakes tons of cookies. And I was in the Dollar Tree and I looked down and I'm like, oh my gosh, those are perfect. So I call him and I'm like, hey babe, I found the perfect containers for your cookies. How many should we get? And he's like, oh, just get four or five. Because he was like, whatever. So they had three, they had four different ones. They had this one here. You see it. You got the, the red truck, the snowman, and the Christmas trees. And aren't those perfect? Um, now, I think they're... They're... Yeah, they're, they seal tight. Your cookies are going to be nice and fresh. And so they had that one. They had the Santa, reindeer, and snowman, and Christmas tree. So there's those two. They had the, you know, the hot cocoa ones, and then they had a gin, I'm not a gingerbread person. Now, I can destroy gingerbread, but I'm not really big into the gingerbread decorating. So, I left that one behind, and I picked him up five, a total of five of these. And when he saw them, he's like, oh my gosh, those are the perfect size. So, I'm going back tomorrow to uh, pick up more of these. Um, because I think these are going to go quick, and, and and they are. They are the perfect size to gift cookie, fresh baked cookies. So I'm going to go back to pick up probably five or six more of those because we also do like a cookie exchange on our, our little cul-de-sac that we live on. We, we have the best cul-de-sac. Um, and I've said it before, our neighbors, everybody looks out for each other. Like, most of us have some, some type of access to another home in case they're out of town. So everyone can, like, help look after homes if they're away. And we do cookie exchanges and all. We do, like, like cul-de-sac barbecues. Like, we all get out there and barbecue. Well, we haven't since COVID, but you know what I mean. We just have the best neighbors. And so he's like, absolutely, we need more of those. So we're going to get... Actually, I'll probably pick up 10 more so that we can make sure we get all the neighbors and our um, people at work. So, but that's it, guys. That is my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm going to get this put away so I can get back to working on um, the, the, the tonic craft kit um, thing I'm going to share with you all later tonight. And I'm going to let you know it's going to be later tonight. And the craft room update is actually going to be tomorrow because I am off tomorrow. So, just with my errands and, um, what was I saying? Oh, just with my errands and then the little, um, project share, I'm pushing the craft room to tomorrow. So, that way I don't have to stress and rush, um, because, you know, when you craft, you make a mess. So, anywho, um, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or, you know, shoot me an email. And, um... Just another comment, you know, people are going to say it, so I'm going to address it. Some people say don't acknowledge them, but 
Apparently I put a video out that says that it was too slow to start so they didn't even bother watching. Well, you know what? I'm a, I'm a chatter. I'm Chatty Kathy and that's my video and um, I'm not going to change. So just, just saying, just saying. Um, with that, love you guys to pieces. Hope you have a fabulous Sunday and as always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.